get into the Halloween spirit, let's go rent a monster movie tonight. Oh, no way. You'll freak out. I won't freak out. Yes, you will. You see a monster flick, your imagination runs wild, and you freak out. Besides, monster movies remind me of work. What? <laughs> the SATs. Perfect grade point averages and high test scores won't help me if my face is sucked off! <laughs> nice try, dark face. <laughs> you weren't scared? <laughs> no. Not even for a second? <laughs> no. A nanosecond? <laughs> Nuh-uh. <laughs> but you sure gave Jody a conniption. What's a conniption? <laughs> There you go. Cool. Connections rock. In a world full of monsters and demons, June is the only one who sees them. When people be stuck with plot and scheming, she kills fun. Sounds and from screaming, sounds and from screaming. Go, 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 go. You can't stop the girl. Go, 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 go. You can't stop the girl. She's the one who has to resolve it, has to resolve it. Happy Halloween, baby. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> June, that's so cute! I love it! I absolutely love it! Who are you supposed to be? Uh, Elvis, Jody. I'm Elvis Presley, the king of rock and roll. Oh. I'm a princess. Of course you are. <laughs> what are you dressed as? Duh, I'm a werewolf robot Abraham Lincoln on roller skates. <laughs> Four score and seven years ago. Woo! Couldn't decide on what to wear, huh? Nope. So I decided to satisfy all my passions. But it's better than Ophelia. She's not even wearing a costume. Sure I am. I'm dressed as cooler than you. Oh, yeah. Now I see it. Dude, what's with the skirt? For the last time, boy, it's not a skirt, it's a kilt. Nor is it a costume. I happen to be chilly. Now let's be done with this senseless ritual so I can go home already. Ah, oh, dude, we haven't even hit our stride. Come on, come on, we gotta move. The good stuff goes fast. Now the word is they're doling out whole candy bars on Griffin Avenue. If we don't move it, we'll be getting those sugar-free hard candies in the bottom of some old lady's purse. Oh, you must chill. Chill? Nothing! We'll be lucky to hit half the houses on our block before you gotta go kick some monster's butt because your stupid bracelet starts beeping. Oh, it doesn't beep, Ray Ray. It mostly glows, kind of like Say, a... what do real monsters do on Halloween? I mean, do they tear it up like it's New Year's Eve or something? No. They're out here with us. Where? Well, there's one. And there. And over there. Uh, behind those kids? No, they are those kids. You know how we dress up as monsters? Well, they dress up as humans. Uh, they do this magic spell that turns them into people, and instead of trick-or-treating, they go around and do human stuff. Uh -huh. And that's cool. How? Beats me. They think it's really funny. Excuse me, kind sir. What time do you have? It's 6.30. <laughs> Here is some human money in exchange for printed news. <laughs> Hi, can I have the telephone number 
River. Big Bill's deep the Chicago style pizza. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Milk chocolate pile one, dark chocolate pile two, nut, nougat, and crispy milk chocolate pile three, other chocolate pile four. You butterscotch. Candy corn pile five, peanut clusters pile six, gum pile seven, oh, bubble gum pile seven, subsection A. Toothbrush? A uh, toothbrush? Curse you, Dr. Horatio Rosenberg, DDS, and 42 Maple Drive! Ray Ray, pick your favorite five pieces. I'll be there in a sec to put the rest away for later. Oh, come on. Come on, man! Save the nougat! Save the nougat! Nice try. What? Hey, June, how are you? That's good. I'm just gonna walk around here for a while. That's cool. Hey, I wonder what's on TV. Oh, huh, nothing much. Wonder how many chairs I can lift up at once. I can't feel my teeth! How much sugar did you have? I don't know. Not much. Who's counting? Get off my back! <gasps> Someone's throwing candy corn at your window. Open it, open it, open it, open it! Open it. What? We got a problem. Uh, yeah, we do. It's like midnight, and you're taking target practice in my window with holiday candy. Do you have any licorice? No, this is huge, June. All of the monstrous children have been turning our humans. Uh, yeah, I know. Like, every year, so what? Yeah, but we can't turn them back. All right, I need some explainage. All our little monsters are supposed to turn back at midnight, right? But this year, it didn't happen. Look at my son. He's hideous. All pink and hairless and, oh, human. We have a family reunion coming up next week. I will not, I repeat, not take my daughter looking like this. Ugh, with the dimples and the sassy hair. Ugh. Hey, 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 my friends over here. Listen, I can totally get my sister to fix your problem, right? But what are you guys gonna do for me, huh? Perhaps if you were willing to part with a little something, milk chocolate, or let's say, nougat? Well, I guess there are a couple of spells I could try, but... This isn't some potion gone wrong. It's something worse. Way worse! Evan, go on, tell her. Tell her what you did this time. Don't touch me. I didn't do nothing. Oh, that's enough mouth from you, young monster. You're in plenty of trouble as it is. He paid an aged demon to hex him into a human forever. Must have affected all our children. <gasps> oh, you betcha. I found this under his bed. So what? You didn't have to ground me. Not another word out of you, mister. To think I sat on an egg and hatched you for nine months. To have you turn your back on our culture, our family. Are you kidding me? Why do you think I hate being a monster? We're so totally disgusting. There's like slime, crudy body scales, and I have hair in places you wouldn't believe. And we eat stuff that'll make a billy goat puke. It is so wrong. Oh, now what's wrong with being who you are? Well, I mean, look at me now. I'm like amazingly gorgeous and slime free. I could totally be a model. Okay, okay, I've heard enough. I'll go talk to the agent demon in the morning and see what I can do. Thanks, June. You're a lifesaver. Oh, you just knew it was gonna be Catherine Thompson's kid who'd pull a stunt like this. Calm down, sweetheart. Don't tell me to calm down, Gus. I, I've got a son that looks like Justin Timberlake. Juniper Lee, Vicky will see you now. Listen, darling, you pull this kind of stuff one more time and I'll personally come down there, tear your inner inside out and wear your ribcage like a hat. You understand me? Good! 
And I love you too, Daddy. Tell Mama hi. You must be Juniper. What brings you here? Oh, uh, we got a little problem with the monster kids in Orchid Bay. Seems you, um, cut a deal with the... Oh, right, the Thompson boy. Nice kid. Didn't want to be a monster. I love to help people. I'm a real people person. It's really all about the love. Abby, where's my protein shake? If it's not in here by the time I finish this sentence, you're fired! You're fired, fired! Bring me my shake! And no banana! Yeah, it's just that... Well, you turned all monster children in Orchid Bay into humans, not just Evan Thompson. Listen, sweetheart, I broke her packages. If I change one monster, I gotta change them all. It's an all-or-nothing deal. The kid initialed the contract. Oh, come on. He didn't know what he was doing. And uh, now the natural balance of the world is all screwy, and I have to fix it, so if you could just see it in your heart to... Listen, sweetheart, you seem like a nice kid, and I'd really, really like to help, but my hands are tied. And by that, I mean I don't want to. I work deals here, okay? If you had something I wanted, then maybe we'd be having a conversation. Well, what do you need? For starters, a protein shake that doesn't taste like an elephant's butt! There was a glorious protein shake that I used to get when I was just a little assistant agent demon in the underworld land of Quagara. Oh, to taste that again. All right, I'll get it for you. If I do, will you turn the monster kids back? You got yourself a deal, sweetheart. But the offer expires at midnight. After that, the spell will be too powerful to overturn, and those kids will be human forever. Capiche? Remember her? Used to come in every day and get a protein shake. I know just the way she likes it. Oh, wonderful. I'll take one. Money units do me no good here. For this smoothie, I demand a trade of premium value. Perhaps you could acquire the magical amulet of Turi's Bach, owned by the fierce and powerful Lord Balthazar of Grimble Beach? Young Juniper, I have awaited your arrival. I will trade you the magical amulet of Turisbach for the great goblet of goblins found in the Grand Gorge of Gorgia. <sighs> Street as you have the great goblet of goblins. Maybe, maybe not. Bust it to you. Well, I've also been told that you'll trade it for the crystal scepter of Malaperta. You can get me the crystal scepter of Malaperta? No way. It's like a collectible. I shall trade the scepter for one item the ancient talisman of Remelani. Onkaflacteria. The Shroud of Baldwards. Nothing. What do you mean, nothing? There's nothing you'll trade? No, 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 no. I'm here to trade. Come on, I'm your girl. What do you want? I can get it. Name it, name it. Come on, come on. Nope, I'm good. Come on! Don't be like that. You want the Orb of Triacle? Gemstone of the Elfin King Titus. A DVD player? Freaking flyer miles? Yellow! What? What do you mean he can't fight? The match is in two hours! <gasps> I'll fight! I'm a fighter! That's what I do, I fight! Who do you need me to fight? What are you talking about, kid? I need a winner! If I win the fight, you give me the shroud. If I don't, you don't. Three pounds soaking wet, Juniper the Velvet Hammer Lee! And in the red color, the 12-year champion of the Annihilation Fight Circuit, weighing
weighing in at 3,716 pounds, two ounces, Jordan the Destroyer! Tell me again how we ended up here. It's complicated. Fighters, stand ready! That's right, ladies! June's gonna rip him to bits! She's gonna tear him five new blowholes and send him to the hospital in a lunchbox! Call his mama and tell her to forget about dinner, cause this second got it coming home! You got him scared. a wee bit bored. Oh, are you sure there's no way to defeat this dude? Ah, plenty of ways, if you're fighting in the field. But this is a pro match. Uh, what? Oh, come on, I'm getting my butt handed to me on a platter out there. I thought you were just giving the crowd a good show. His name is Jordan the Destroyer. He's destroying me. And need I remind you, we only have like an hour and 20 minutes to get that smoothie to Vicky or this whole stupid quest was for nothing. All right, all right. No need to get snippy. If you want to weaken him, you could pull out the second horn on his tailbone and he would shriek to a quarter of his size. Then you'd be a shoo If you don't mind cheating at professional wrestling. <sighs>
So I say to this chatterhead, I said... So I say to this chatterhead, I said, hey, if you don't tell your client to... There! What is this? What do you mean, what's this? I went to the land of Guagara, traversed the Gremlifat Beach, climbed Grand Gorge of Gorgia, trudged through the snow of Malapare to brave the rapids of Remulardi, survived the forest of fire and ice, swam the vast fields of nothingness, and fought Jordan the Destroyer for this! It's your protein shake! Oh, yeah. I thought I asked for no banana. Undo the monster spell. Okay, okay, a deal's a deal. I'll make the call. Shouldn't take more than a second. Hi, sweetheart. Hi, Gary. How are ya? Great. Marsha and the kids? Oh, you are kidding. Oh, she did not. That's amazing for her age. My little one didn't take her. Well, spell the spell! Right. Listen, sweetheart, you know the deal I made with the Thompson boy? Right, yeah. I need to reverse it. Okay, thanks, I'm sure. Dinner next week sounds fab. Oh, and if you're one minute late, I'll tear your eyes out. Bye bye <sighs> Did I mention how much I hate Halloween? Sure, she'll fight again for the right price. I'm thinking a hundred thousand bucks plus a bucket of dark chocolate with almonds. Uh, thanks for inviting us to dinner, Mrs. Thompson. Oh, you betcha. Yeah, it was the least we could do to thank you for fixing the horrible evil that Evan wrought. I am so sick of you bagging on me. <gasps> uh, so, what do you call this, uh, delicacy? Ooh, that slime. Whatever it is, it's amazing. So, uh, <laughs> what's for dessert? More slime? <laughs>